Hello, I'm newsreader Carl, and this is the October Aaron and Carl Happy Report 2023. Let's go straight over to the man cave and see what made Aaron and Carl happy this month. Thank you, newsreader Carl. That's Aaron, he's Carl, and we're going to tell you the five things that made us happy this month, October 2023. Shall we start with you, Aaron? Yes. Okay, Aaron, what was the first thing that made you happy this month? Okay, so I went to the Day of the Dead Rock Orchestra, which I'd never been to before. Basically, um, it's like an orchestra that do rock music and uh, they had like trophies artists and everything. So they were playing classic rock yeah with a classic orchestra yes and we we went dressed up and you were wearing your what i call your deadpool mask yeah it's like a deadpool mask i was wearing you had makeup on yes yeah and you Kerry yeah. And Joe had, they were done like sugar skulls, weren't they? Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, it was a good show. Um, yeah. Long show, but a good show. Yeah, it had some, some good, good, good classic rock tunes being done. Yeah. Um, I think my favourite would probably be the Systems of a Down one. Yeah. That they did. I think. I think my favourite would probably be Bring Me Back to Life by Evanescence. I do highly recommend you go and see it because it is a great night. It hey, well, yeah, it was a good show. I had uh, the circus stuff was pretty good as well. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was a great show. I'm gonna try and go and see it again next year if I can, because the tickets do go like wildfire for this. So. Yeah, it was very busy. So if you do want to go get tickets early um but yeah that was a day of the dead rock up loose there slash day of the dead festival what was yours carl oh well i went to a thing that's in brighton which was a kind of art installation and also gallery in someone's house called the spirit house and it was a bit like walking into a shaman's shack they had all uh, different stuff on the walls and they had some different music happening all around. Yeah. And it was it was quite atmospheric, quite interesting to see how that all got together. And uh, I'm, I'm touch wood, I might be performing it at, when they do it another time. Yeah. Which could be quite exciting. <laughs> So my 
second happy thing for October is I went to see the WWE, which is a wrestling company. Um, and I went to see them up at Wembley Arena and this it was actually their first time at playing at Wembley Arena. They had some great matches, saw some stars I'd never seen before, like LA Knight. Yep! LA Solo Sakawa. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Charlotte Flair in EO Sky was Woo! was great. Uh, the LWO was fantastic. Um, saw Bailey actually; she was really good. Uh, oh. Actually. Everyone was singing that and she's getting really annoyed. Yeah, she, yeah, she's not friendly Bailey at the moment, is she? She's grumpy, horrible Bailey. She gets very cross when you're like, I want to know. Hey, hey, Bailey. Ha! I want to know. Well, it be my girl. Ha! And gets her very angry. Yes. Uh, we had absolutely great seats. I, we were quite close to the... Well, actually, we were very close to the ring. Um, I got some pictures and I also got some video. Ooh! Um, there's a funny thing that happened uh, during the last match or just before the last match. Part of the... Um, you know the background where they have like the video showing yeah. and stuff. One square of the screen fell off, so there was like an empty hole. Oh no! And someone will be getting told off for that. Yes, but uh, yeah, it was an absolutely great night. Um, I'm definitely going to go and see them again. In actual fact, the last time I saw them was before the pandemic. Oh, that's quite a while ago. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> anyway, what was yours, Carl? Well, mine's wrestling related as well. I was very excited to have Mr. Pickles, my cat, appear in a Carlos Chaotico promo video. Even though Mr. Pickles was a snitch and told... Willie Carlos Chaotico, that Carlos Chaotico has still got the monster weight belt. <laughs> yes. Oh, Mr. Pickles. Well, yes, yes. It's the monster weight championship belt. Now, whatever you do, don't tell Willy Carlos Chaotico, then I have it, okay? Very important not to tell him. He thinks I've given it back to Bile. <laughs> so, my uh, third thing for, um, Hall uh, for my best things is Halloween. Um, I grow my I'm pumpkins every year. Um, we had quite a few um, designs. We had we had um, gold oil done in a pumpkin, which looked absolutely great. Although we did have to do him again because the pumpkin went mouldy straight away. So 
Joan had to nip out and get two more pumpkins for the other things. Um, we made the Green Rangers power coin. It's kind of a tribute to JDF. And um, we did one more pumpkin as a tribute to JDF, which was the Dragon Dagger and Saba. Um, all of which I have pictures of. And we did ha we did do a Sugar Skull as well. But as you can see, my last remaining pumpkin is Gary the Snail. Meow. Um, from Spongebob to Air Fans. Now, there's a reason why we did this. Not only because I like Spongebob. Yes, I know, don't judge me. Um, my brother is called Gary, so we kind of did it to embarrass my brother. Um, and I sent it to him. I won't show you what he sent me because it was, it was shocking. But yeah, Gary is my last remaining pumpkin. And I think the reason he's my last remaining pumpkin is because we haven't taken the guts out of him. So it'll be interesting to see how long he'll last. Now the pumpkins that did eventually die on us lasted till Halloween, which is Basically, what I needed them to do, so it's no biggie. And the reason it was so hard with the pumpkins this year, and it's not just me, it's everyone, is because of the weather. Um, well, you guys will know what the weather's like. So, yeah. That's it on the pumpkins. What's yours, girl? Well, I went on holiday, which was very nice. I went on holiday to Greece. And I spent two days in Athens, which is quite an interesting, very busy city. Lots going on. And then had five days on a boat going to some of the small islands. Yeah. And that was very relaxing with not a lot going on. Because when you're at the middle of the sea... On a boat, there's not a lot you can do but sit down and relax. You're on a yacht, weren't you? Well, yeah, yacht, yacht boat. Um, we didn't get to do much sailing because the wind was too small. We, I think we were very lucky, actually, because a lot of the time the sea was very flat. So we didn't have any seasickness and stuff like that. Yeah. Do you get seasick? Uh, I have done before, yes. Yeah, so I was a little worried about getting seasick, but it turned out all right. a happy thing is I got some stuff from Super 7. Now just quickly before I explain to you what it is, what well, you can probably see what it is. Uh, Super 7 is a company that works with Hasbro but it's run by fans for fans. Um, and obviously as you know my main interest is Power Rangers. So, I got a couple of things, but this one is the regular Rita Repulsa because I do have the purple violet one as well. But this one's the regular one, uh, which looks absolutely fantastic. I really, really like it. And they've made it to look like the very first. Uh, Rita, which is the Japanese one, which I can't remember the Japanese actress's real name, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, she looks absolutely fantastic. And she has three heads. One is her kind of laughing, and then one is her kind of scowling. 
And then the other head is Kimberly's head. Because Kimberly becomes Rita for one episode. And also, this Rita comes with something no other Rita figure has had in the past. She comes with her telescope, uh, which is absolutely massive. I didn't realise how big it was. And also, another thing I thought was pretty cool is she actually has metal chains on on her. Um, so yeah, that's Super 7. There is a review of these things coming up soon. Now, I don't know whether it will be before Christmas or after Christmas. But yes, if you're a fan of Super 7 and a fan of Power Rangers, you will like some of the stuff that's coming up. Including, just quickly, they've got Vulcan Skull coming out. Next year, I believe. But the pre-orders are up for those now. What I'll do is I'll put the pre-orders for those in the description below. What was yours, Carl? So, one of the things that I really liked uh, this October was when I was going for runs around Brighton, where I live, they've been having Sean the Sheep uh, statues around which different artists are painted. Yeah. I think there was... 30-ish of them. Yeah. So I was running around Brighton, getting a a photo with the Sean the Sheep around Brighton, which I uh, had great fun doing. So my number five happy thing for October 2023 is I went to a Elvis tribute artist world tour down in Guildford at the G Live um, Music Hall, um, which was absolutely fantastic. There were three Elvises, all of won championships in the past. Um, there was one British one, which he was good. He was really good. Um, and it was a really great night, actually. And um, we were actually the first night of the tour, which was great. And um, what a night of Elvis Entertainment, right here at G-Live. The first night of our UK tour. What was yours, Carl? Well, we got an email didn't we yes that was from the oscar bright film festival sorry i'll cut you off that's uh, all right and we uh our film aaron and marvin has been chosen to be part of the oscar bright film festival yes it's very exciting so yes. uh if you want to see one of our films big on the big screen, you have to get to the Oscar Bright Film Festival yes. in Brighton to see it. Yeah, and what I found out recently is it's actually travelling around the world. Ah. So our movie will get to be seen by other people. All over the place. Yes. Excellent. Um, what are you most looking forward to about it, Paul? Well, I'm really pleased we've got chosen, and uh, it'll be. I, I, it's always exciting to see your films in big, on a cinema screen. Yes, um, so that that would be good. Yeah, so I can't wait for that. So I suppose we should go back to the studio, and back to newsreader Carl. Yes. Okay. Right. Back to the studio and newsreader Carl. Yes. Congratulations, Aaron and Carl, on getting through to the Oscar Bright Film Festival. What a marvellous achievement. Now, 
over to someone else who should be winning awards for his investigative journalism, roving reporter, Darren. Funkins, 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 Funkins! Hi, I'm roving reporter Darren, and today's report is on the UK's Funkins. Now, in June, the Funkins were absolutely loving the weather, but come August, the weather had turned absolutely nasty. Um, our pumpkins were all soggy, which made them go mouldy really fast. And the real shame about this is the British punch pumpkin carving competition um, had to be cancelled because almost immediately after all the pumpkins had been carved they'd gone mouldy and pretty much turned to mush so unfortunately they had to cancel the uh, competition this year but next year we will, let's think positive, we will have a better October and the competition will go ahead. So, anyway, thanks for listening to my report. I'm Robin Reporter Darren. I'll see you next month. Now back to Newsreader Carl. Well, it's a shock to see those pumpkins mouldering and rotting to a squishy end. That's not what we want from our pumpkins. So, we'll be seeing you next month for the Aaron and Carl Happy Report. Goodbye. <laughs>